That beef. I like get so much stuff and just end up returning it. So I really like what was in fact the point. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Perfect, thank you so much. Who wants to explain these bits of hair to me? <laughs> also, ah, literally got my nails off um, a few days break. A little, little pedicure coffee nail morning. Doesn't hurt anybody, does it? Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I feel like I've got like lots to do, lots to talk to you guys about um, in a very short amount of time. Um, literally, yeah, this morning got myself a little holiday pedicure and I got my nails off because I'm going to see my actual nail tech at the weekend um, for holiday nails. I will trip nails and she said to save some time, get your nails off. So we're back to the short stumpies. Look how like actually short, small, stumpy my fingers are. But yes, as the title would suggest and what I've just been saying, on Sunday, which is actually probably when this video is going up, me, Hannah and Mads are actually going to Dubai. A um, few things just sort of going on, just, yeah. This is like the only sort of time I've got like off for a, a long time um, to just have a little bit of a, little bit of a break. You guys let me know now, obviously, because this is going up on Sunday, whether or not you want to see a holiday vlog, um, if you want to see like holiday content, I'll be reading all of the comments and stuff, so I'll be able to assess the, the kind of stuff to post while I'm there. Understand some people may not want to see holiday content, some people do, it's a nice inspo for summer holiday trips that they might be going on. I just want to be sensitive, so let me know. But in this vlog, I am just got doing some little like trip prepping that I thought you guys might be interested in. Not necessarily like the nails. Um, I got a few like travel sized bits in terms of like skincare and stuff, which I thought you guys might be interested in and makeup. Um, I thought maybe I could include some like outfit ideas, like inspo, that sort of thing. I'm gonna be tanning. So yeah, but also just sort of like spend a few days with me type thing. So there'll be a mix mash sort of stuff in this vlog. Um, I'm literally the colour of my jumper right now. I feel like you guys are used to seeing me a lot more tanned, a little bit more bronze than this, but embracing the natural for the next couple of days. Just got back from nails. I really want to go to the gym, obviously. I've literally like given myself like five days. Do you ever like to say like, right, how do I become snatched in five days? <laughs> I'm joking, but I'm also not. Yeah, but I do want to go to the gym today, but I'm going to make myself some lunch first. And for lunch today, I'm very excited because today's lunch is brought to you by HelloFresh. I love HelloFresh. You guys know I use them all the time. If you don't know about HelloFresh, they are a meal delivery service. Straight to your door, you can pick from so many amazing recipes. It really gets me motivated to try new things. You guys know I'm into my cooking at the moment. And if you guys are into your cooking as well or want to start, this is a great place to start because not only am I going to give you a discount code but it's just so convenient it's all delivered straight to your door so if you're someone with a really busy schedule or a family you don't have to go to the effort of like going to the shop and like flying around the supermarket getting all the ingredients it's all delivered straight to you you can really tailor it to what your lifestyle is you can select lunch meals dinner meals you can either add on some breakfast meals they do all the hard work for you in terms of like measuring out the ingredients to like the exact amount all you have to do is like the fun stuff which is like the prepping and the actual cooking you can tailor it to two people three people four people so if you've got like housemates and stuff take in turns to cook yourself a hello fresh meal these were the ones that i ordered this week i got the creamy spiced chicken gnocchi which i had yesterday for dinner oh so good um i've got this look forward to the spicy a spicy <laughs> spicy <laughs> a spicy cajun prawn risotto but today for lunch prior to going to the gym i'm gonna do some korean style beef tacos chef's kiss but like i said they've got so many recipes to choose from all super delicious super like impressive as well all using really fresh high quality ingredients and hello fresh yeah just make the whole thing super easy so if you guys still haven't tried hello fresh yet this is your sign to try it get into your cooking impress your friends or just impress yourself um with these super easy to follow recipes but really just like 
amazing meals. You can use the code, I will leave on the screen what that means for you. The link to HelloFresh and to, to get your first box uh, is in the description bar down below. So make the most of it, you guys. I know, I remember I did like a crispy chicken taco recipe once for me and Jack and Connor. They were so impressed and you literally like, you make everything even from like the breaded chicken and stuff, but it's so easy. They were so impressed. Um, a real crowd pleaser, but yes. Onto these beef style tacos because I'm starving. I know you want to see me cooking. And um, yeah, I want to eat this kind of before I go to the gym. So I need to give some time in between. smell incredible already. So these are meant to be like Korean style tacos and HelloFresh provided me with all of the ingredients to do that. I added the avocado and the feta on top and I don't know if that's gonna ruin it or whatever, but I feel like I picked ones that will complement everything really well. But let me just take a bite of this right now. That beef, oh my God, the pickled onions with the beef, the pepper, the sriracha mayo, and then I feel like the feta and the avocado just like cool it slightly. Not that it needs like cooling down, but like just add, they do add a little bit of something. It's good about these recipes. Customize it to whatever you want. HelloFresh give you the baseline. Add like ingredients if you've already got them to just like tailor it really to you. That is one of the, my favorite ones I've done. Korean beef style tacos with sriracha, pickled onion. Literally took 20 minutes. I'm obsessed with this, so make the most of the discount code. It's in the description for you guys. Go and check them out. I'm gonna enjoy this. Um, and then it's time to go to the gym. Okay guys, time to get it done. But I am excited because when I come back from the gym, I've had two parcels arrive, which contain like some holiday bits that I can show you guys, give you a little sneak peek. Um, and you can let me know what you think. Um, but yes, time to get on that treadmill, girlies. 12, 3.30, except I do like, 12, 3.30 is like not my vibe. I do like 12 and a half, 4.5, and then the time varies. I'll definitely do a minimum of 30, but sometimes I could just keep going. Like if I'm watching Friends or like just, I always watch something while I'm on the treadmill. Um, if I like not finish the episode or like whatever, I just keep going, you know? That's why watching stuff at the gym is so good. And so many of you guys comment on my videos saying that you watch my videos at the gym. So I'll try and make sure I'm doing longer videos. I am back and it is my favorite time. It's time for Tipping Point and a cup of tea. You know what? Also, guys, what the heck? What do I do about that spot on my chin? I'm gonna cry. Um, just opened up a couple of packages and so I thought, I thought the makeup order would have arrived, but it hasn't, that'll probably come tomorrow. I say makeup order, my like, little like, splurge I did on some travel size bits on like, cult beauty. I just want to treat myself, you know, I don't have any travel size things. I need as much help as possible when it comes to like, reducing the weight of my case. So I thought I'll get some travel size bits. Um, but I did get a couple of bits um, from Miss Guy, it's pretty random. Um, just, I saw these and I actually don't have the perfect like gold hoop. Like I've got big chunky ones, which I obviously plan to bring. I've got little ones, but I thought these were perfect. And I'm not gonna lie, they're like a must have on a holiday. You just wear these with everything. Do you know what I mean? Also, look at this shirt. I've told the girls, I'm like, the theme, like my theme for Dubai is gonna be sophisticated 
but sexy. Because, you know, it's a little bit more, like, conservative sort of over there. I know times have changed. If anyone's been to Dubai recently, like, let me know. But I'm just thinking, like, it's so hot all of the time, but obviously in when you're inside, it's really air-conditioned. So I'm thinking just, like, floaty things. I'm a bit older now. You know, I don't need to be getting bits and bobs out all of the time. Like, just floaty, sophisticated. But I saw this shirt... Like, the colours, even as, like, a beach shirt. I got mine, like, in a size 18. I was like, I really want, like, a baggy shirt. I could totally dress this up, dress this down. The colours, like, insane. Um, so I just picked up those bits from Misguided. Um, this ASOS bag is really small. And I'm confused because... I wonder, why does that come first? This wasn't meant to come until Saturday. Anyway, I got this top. Let's see if it's gonna be big enough because it only had one size left, but it looked like I could sort of miss mash it. This is the top. I th and I ordered some brown cargoes, which I thought would be in this ASOS order, but I'm guessing they've come separately. But this wasn't meant to come until Saturday. It was like, this is going to be delayed till Saturday. Um, mm, it looks like it might be a little bit too small, but it's really adjustable. So we'll see. These little, like, cardigan thing. It's actually from Pull and Bear, but I got it on ASOS. They're the only bits that have arrived, but can you tell the vibe that I'm going for? Fingers crossed that that fits. I've got a few ASOS returns to do, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting better at my returns. I, like, get so much stuff and just end up returning it. So really, like, what was, in fact, the point? But both of those look really freaking good. And yeah, I'm gonna have me a cup of tea. This is my tea, by the way. Is that a good color? No sugar. And I always leave the spoon in. Random, all my friends think that's really random, but apparently it's meant to like cool it down quicker so therefore I can drink it quicker, you know? Anyway. That's really boring. But this evening I'm going to Jack and Connor's for dinner and we're having soup again. Jack makes such a good soup. And I feel like that's still like relatively healthy, you know? They're probably gonna have cheese toasties and I probably will be tempted to have one with the soup. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's a classic Thursday. It's soup, scrabble and a movie. I'm probably not gonna see them before I go go away so this is our like catch up time and then tonight I'm going to come back and do my first fake tan <laughs> yes I do fake tan before I go on holiday because some of us shrivel up in the sun actually I don't shrivel up I used to tan really well in the sun when I was younger and then I actually burnt myself so badly like as a child that I had like a tan line for a year and my mum was slightly concerned um, but then I've just never really been able to sort of, well, I just don't really like to sit in the sun. I just get too hot. But I like, I like, no, I like the sun, but I don't like the heat. And I don't like just like lying in my own sweat. Like my dream is to be like in the Bahamas, but like in the shade. Does that make sense to anyone? Like, and I also get really bad sunstroke, like the top of my head just must be quite thin. <laughs> And I, sunstroke is not fun. If you've had sunstroke, you know, you're just like sick for the whole holiday. It's really not great. Um, but I love to watch everyone else like frolic in the sun. I love it. But therefore I do fake tan. Just to give you like, you know, a little base, a little base for when you are when you get there. And it's just nice to be tan, makeup free, like at the airport, you know? Um, and I'm gonna try out a new fake tan tonight so we can assess the results of that together. And then I can let you guys know about it because I don't want to say and like tell you about it because this is going to be my first time using it too. And if it's not good, then I'm not recommending it. You know what I mean? Guys, that shirt goes with my master label swimsuits, which by the way, literally, oh my God, look at my fingers. Uh, the best swimsuits, so flattering. The fishtail swim, I picked up the blue and the pink one um, in the new like spring drop. Literally goes perfect with that shirt. Also, you guys, can you tell I was living my Rachel Green floppy hat fantasy? I need to like <laughs> wet this and like reshape it. But you know when she, they go to the beach and she has that massive floppy hat? This is the vibes. Anyway, uh, if you want uh, a way to crush your confidence, what you should do is try on clothes when 
you know, you've scrubbed off all your fake tan and you feel a bit like it's the end of the day, so like a bit bloated, like, and you've got no makeup on. That's a really good way to make yourself feel great. Anyway, so I'm going to retry <laughs> the clothes on tomorrow and see if they look better then. After I'm a little bit more bronzed up and maybe have like a face on and not post gym hair. But anyway, I'm off to my friend's house now to be made some dinner and have some social contact. Oh. Yeah, it was. We're back again. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> this is meant to work. I want to see if I can... Okay. Oh, I see it. No! Yeah. No! No! Toasty soup. I said I wasn't going to have a toasty, but like, can you see that? Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. We're back with the soup for the year. Why isn't it focused? Just What's in it? It's giving spice. It's giving delicious. But it's giving like Moroccan mm. hearty. You all enjoying your soup? No. What the fuck am I meant to do with that? I'm absolutely. This is not looking sure. good. Guys, this is the end board. Yeah. What? Forget it. I what? Don't kind of magic in me anymore, kid. How about a hug instead? Wait, it, hmm? That's the it, best it doesn't magic. take off your Mr. Merlin, way. Please. I know you can do it. I said. Each player scores are used by some, some of their unplayed but, tiles, and if one player has used all their tiles, their score is increased by the sum of the unplayed tiles of all the other players. What? Which would mean. So technically, technically. On a technicality, I'm the winner. Back home now, and I'm naked. Yay! Um. Oh my god, what a fun evening. Shrek, Scrabble, soup. Um. Those cheese toasties. I did have one, and it was unreal, worth every bite. But um. This spot, I'm literally gonna cry. I'm about to fake tan. I've just had a shower and washed my hair. Um, I'm about to fake tan. So obviously this is me before. Hey, naked lady. Um, this is me before. Um, I'm just trying out a new tan. So we'll assess the results in the morning. I've got shades medium dark and ultra dark. And you might be thinking like, Rachel, why are you tanning now if you're going away on Sunday and today is Thursday? I plan to sort of tan tonight, shower off tomorrow and that's Friday. I'm gonna like, um, moisturize tomorrow night and then I plan to again tan on Saturday I feel like that will prolong the tan so I don't know whether to use like ultra dark now or just dark now should I do the ultra dark now because then if that's like too dark I've got time to like sort it out do you know what I mean um let's try ultra ultra dark fuck it um, I've got my fan got my iPads. um I've got my fucking spot um, so here we go. And this is me after. Do you know what? Not as ultra dark as I thought. It's very natural. I actually put some on my face. Avoided the spot because that does not need to be any darker than it already is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go to bed and assess what this looks like in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I've showered off the tan. Um, I feel like my hands are... They always look really like dark, but it's actually a really nice, like see like what? Does that happen to anyone else? And I literally moisturize my hands until the cows come home. But they always end up like a little bit darker, but I actually don't mind that because you wash your hands so much anyway. That's normally the first actually part that fades first is my hands because you're always washing them but in terms of the color i feel like because it's quite bright in here it is washing me out maybe a little bit really nice for extra dark like it's not 
too intense, it's really natural looking, which is obviously what you want from fake tan. Um, yeah, so kind of impressed with that. Um, look at my hair from overnight. Also, I've been using like a coppery shampoo to try and get that red vibe that you guys know that I'm obsessed with and that I'm like really tempted by, um, but I just like can't, can't take the plunge. Anyway, this morning, I'm gonna make myself a green juice. Um, I am literally returning 95% of the stuff that I got. Like I got a few more other bits and like I just, I just don't like any of it. And like, you don't need new bits of holiday. Like, use what you've got. And I literally am now like, um, and you're probably like, oh God, like, <laughs> boy you. That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, it's obviously very annoying when you like treat yourself, buy some new bits for your holiday. And it all looks crap because you kind of like plan maybe like outfits or like, yeah, you're just assuming that that's gonna work and you're planning outfits with that, with your like itinerary or if you're me and you're like crazy and you literally like pre-write out all of your outfits. Um, so it's obviously a bit disappointing when none of it looks right. So I think I'm gonna go to the Jaffa Center today and go to like, you know, like um, Stradavius, is that how you pronounce it? Pull and Bear, I've not been in Zara in ages. Like that's the kind of vibe I'm going for. Obviously in Dubai, respect the culture. It's a bit more like covered up and uh, that's kind of my vibe anyway, in terms of like, um, it, when you're in the sun, like I need to be covered up. Um, and just a bit more, yeah, like sophisticated glam. So I feel like I can't guarantee cause now it's a Friday that it will come tomorrow. Like I feel like weekend deliveries aren't always guaranteed. So I feel like I'll go to the Trafford Centre and take you guys along. And hopefully by the time that I'm back, my big like cult beauty order that I'm really excited about will arrive with all of my travel size bits. And I keep, I keep talking about it. Like I'm really excited to try them um, because I didn't actually know that so many of the brands that I use day to day, like maybe slightly more like, not like luxury, but like higher end brands. Like maybe when it comes to skincare, I mean, I do have like my normal skincare, but, or just like, I don't know, like little products by brands. I didn't know that they did in travel size. They've got them all on there. Um, it's not, this video is not sponsored by Cold Beauty. I was just having a look and I was like, wow. Like, I can't wait to show you guys what I've got. Um, but yeah, I actually got a phone call in about five minutes. I'm not gonna say too much about it. Um, and you absolutely like can't record phone calls because, oh wait, can you? I was about to say, isn't that illegal? Is recording a phone call illegal? I feel like it's not illegal, but I just don't think you should really do it. But if there's like any sort of part of it that I can include to just get you guys to be like, then I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna make my drip green juice real quick. So yeah, so like I said, I work on the new series of- Ooh, zoomed in. That was a very exciting phone call. Um, and just like I'm having, I don't even wanna say it out loud. Um, so I don't wanna jinx myself, but um, I'm just in a really good mood suddenly. Uh, yeah. That's, that's what I'm gonna say, because I don't really know what to say. Anyway, um, let's uh, let's go to the travel centre, everybody. Happy Friday. Let's get, please, let's hope that this is a slightly more successful trip, so therefore feel a little bit less stressed about, um, oh my God, everything, I keep saying things, and everything I'm saying sounds stupid, as in like, really just out of touch, do you know what I mean? I was about to say, like, let's hope that, like, you know, I actually get some nice outfits for holiday, like... <sighs> Shut up, Rachel. Like, you know what I'm sort of trying to say? Obviously, I had the bad luck with the online shopping, so, yeah, like, I do hope that this is slightly more successful. Uh, maybe I'm just overthinking everything that I'm saying, but do you know what I mean? Like, in this job, you kind of do have to, like, just be mindful of what you're saying, do you know what I mean? I don't want to sound completely like... Out of touch, do you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, Trafford Centre, happy Friday everyone. Don't mean to alarm anyone, but I did some damage. Although I told myself while I was shopping, I was like, oh my God, you know, you've just bought loads of stuff, but I forgot I'm literally returning 95% of it. So technically I've spent like the same amount of money. That's my logic. Anyway, um, so, also I was thinking, is Zara Strad Strad Stradivarius? 
and like Pull and Bear, are they fast fashion? It's just like everything fast fashion technically, unless it's like second hand or designer. Um, like, is it? Because I am trying to like venture out of my fashion, um, like where I shop, just because, I don't know, I'm just getting a little bit older and I'm just shopping in like different places, you know. Um, I feel like everything I got is really random and it's dependent on this like other delivery that was meant to have arrived yesterday but didn't. Like I got bits to go with that delivery, so like it better arrive. <laughs> Anyways, let me show you some things that I got. Um, this is a no, like this is just like, yeah, a little bit of a haul. Um, obviously I went to Superdrug as well and my cult beauty bits arrived. So this is just about to be one massive haul section of the video um mainly just to give maybe you guys some inspo well no one just to show you what i got i know like everyone loves everyone's a bit curious i'd uh, show you the bits i got two um i know when it comes to holidays and stuff like uh, if you guys feel like you got like a similar body type to me this is like nice inspo of like what i'm like planning to do you know um and then maybe it might just give you some inspo to I don't know, try out some different shops um, and actually, you know, treat yourself and go shopping. So I went to Strad Stradivarius. Am I pronouncing that right? Um, I got this. I love these tops at the moment. And you know I showed you yesterday that I got that zebra print, uh, like, tie front shirt. Tried it on. Didn't go over my tits. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Yay. And I tried, and it's from Pull and Bear, and I did go to Pull and Bear today to try and find it but they didn't have it in store because I would have got a bit of a bigger size but this is the kind of vibe it's these like Thai fronts like blouses now I've seen this picture on Pinterest which I love and I know where her shirt's from it's from Rag and Boa Rat and Boa? Rat and Boa I think I was thinking of Rag and Boa man uh, Rat and Boa out of stock everywhere and that's quite expensive actually to be fair Rat is not too bad for like a designer brand but like this is the vibes that i'm going for zoom in please and if anyone knows her instagram let me know but like this vibe like with the cargoes the tie front blouse like gold accessory accessories accessories like i want to kind of like do my own sort of version of that i love her print top hence why i got the brown one and i'm really upset that that doesn't fit but like, I can still make it work. I feel like with like a bikini top underneath, I have got some cargoes coming tomorrow, fingers crossed they fit. Um, yeah, so just like a sheer sort of loose tie front top, I feel like that's still gonna be quite cool in Dubai. Obviously it's very hot, but like, you know, still with the vibes. Again, I also got some brown cargoes that I thought this shirt might go with. It's very lightweight fabric. I'm really into my like printed shirts. Um, the cargoes that I've got coming are brown. So this is just like, got some brown within it. Very like lightweight, airy. Um, I feel like it's good to just pack like floaty shirts uh, when you're going to a place like Dubai. Just, they're gonna go with everything. Um, like over the top of swimsuits and stuff, you know. Um, and then I just got a couple of black tops. Um, mainly just... Because I've got like little mini black tops, but none of them like, uh, I, they're not my face. So I just felt like I needed some new ones. I got like a little t-shirt version. This isn't necessarily for holiday, but maybe I could wear it to the airport. This is so soft and comfortable. Um, so I haven't tried any of this on, by the way. <laughs> um, but I just thought I'd, I'll return it when I get back. Um, it's fine. But yeah, I got like a little top. These are just good to go under like blazers or shirts with like shorts. That kind of vibe, I feel like you can never have too many. Well, actually, you definitely can uh, have too many tops like that. But, like, the ones I have at the moment, I need to actually go through the, my wardrobe and, like, donate or, like, get rid of the ones that I don't actually wear. And then I thought I saw this, like, little dress. It's, like, high neck, like, really, like, stretchy and thick fabric. I thought, that feels really flattering. Don't know what I plan to wear this to. But even if it's not for Dubai, because it might just be a little bit too, like, hot for Dubai um that is just like really comfortable and like I was just picturing it with maybe like boots like back here with a big coat or something you know as we're transitioning into spring um 
stuff like that's really cute. Like I said, like some chunky boots or whatever. Or maybe it'll work for holiday. Not sure. But that's what I got from Stradivarius. Stradivarius? Am I saying that right? Okay, what should I do next up? Let's just do... Oh yeah, fuck, I forgot I went there. Guys, out of all the places that I went today, I spent the most on jewellery. Like, by accident. In that place called, like, Louis... Louisa, Louisa, something. Anyway, I just got this from Zara. Red satin shirt. Gorge. I thought with my like red trousers from my master label edit, um, just as like an um, all red statement piece. I thought that was cute. And plus like, I couldn't believe I didn't already own like a red satin shirt. I feel like even with just some like floaty trousers, like some white ones, um, a red lip, that's cute for holiday, maybe. Um, so that's all I got from Zara. They had like good holiday bits in Zara, but just like not, not like what I was after, you know? Anyway, the jewelry that I got from that place called La Visa, you know, um, I feel like for, for a holiday, I always want like fresh, oh, my ears look cute, you know, and just have fresh studs in. So I got some new like, bits for my second and third holes and like some new studs for my ears. I actually put them in now. Um, and I got some, did I not get the silver ones? Oh yeah, they're there. Um, and then for one of my outfits, I really need some like purple accessories. I got this bag. Are you gonna love it or hate it? It's from Ego. I've got an outfit in mind with it, okay? But like, am I actually just gonna do more damage than, you know, good with this <laughs> but anyway i needed some purple because the outfit's like yellow and i'm really into like complementary colors and like blue and uh well blue and orange i've got a blue and like orange accessories outfit um and yeah this dress i've got is like yellow and i thought maybe just some like pops of purple might be quite nice so i've got this like set of rings that's just kind of like gold with like little like purple moments in and then that big purple thing there um, no idea what I will wear these with, but I was like these earrings. Because I wear my hair up a lot, and I feel like especially in Dubai when it's so hot, like my hair is like probably going to be up 95% of the time. A statement earring, can't go wrong. I don't actually have an outfit with these, and I might not even wear them, but I just thought they were really pretty. I'm really into my dangly earrings. And speaking of which, I love like like diamond earrings like i just think when your makeup's all gorgeous and that like, you've just got this like gorgeous pair of like diamond earrings in it's just you look so bougie and so expensive so i got these literally just really simple i had some other ones from like fashion over or something and they broke and i was so gutted because they were just like really simple dangly earrings so i saw them and i was like i need to replace the ones that i broke um, so yeah, and all of that came to like 70 quid and I was at the checkout like, fuck yeah now. Jesus, <laughs> it's more that I, that's more than I spent in like any, any other places, but I feel like good, good jewellery is worth sort of the investment, especially like when it comes to silver earrings, like there's nothing worse than like when they just go like black in your ear. Not so good. Um, and then finally at Pill and Bear. Um, I kind of just got like an airport tracksuit. Like they've got loads of um, tracksuits in at the moment and I love this color. I got it, hang on, to go with, cause I'm probably gonna wear these trainers to the airport. You're gonna love them or hate them. I know you've probably seen them everywhere. These, like the color of that goes perfectly. So I was like, this is cute. And then I can always just like tie it over my shoulder. You know, if it gets a bit hot, I got the matching joggers to go with it. First long haul flight in ages. So I want to be comfortable. And I thought like the light color might deflect some sort of heat and it's spring now. I thought that's just a nice tracksuit anyway. And I got some shorts that have like an elasticated waist and they're mum shorts. So hopefully they're not going to be too short um, out in Dubai. Um, want to be respectful obviously and yeah the fit of these just looks like they're going to cover everything that needs to be covered and not be too up my ass which is perfect because I don't like that anyway um, so that's kind of all the clothes I got oh my god wait actually that's a lie this just arrived 
and this was very kindly sent to me. Um, I haven't even said like on Instagram that I'm going away, but I was just like reading my DMs and this girl who owns, well, I'm guessing this is her name, um, Casila, Kas Casila Studio. It's like this, Casila. Um, just reached out being like, you've got any trips coming up? Let me know, I'd love to send you some bits. I've just dropped my like holiday collection. And I was like, yeah, babe, I am actually going on a trip. Like that's really random. Like I haven't announced it. So you've just messaged me at the right time. Well, number one, you can see from the pictures, like the collection is gorgeous. She sent me this little like beach skirt. I think I may have got a size too big because I never know when it's with like, uh, like little brands like this, like sometimes the sizing always comes out smaller, but this looks pretty true to size and I feel like I got it a little bit too big. I'm gonna try and make it work though because she's obviously very kindly sent it to me and it is low key adjustable. So fingers crossed, um, and then look at this dress, like this halter neck zebra print dress. How gorgeous is that? And it's got like a ruched butt. Like it's backless, but with a ruched bum. And the fabric's like that pleasey, pleated vibe. So excited about that. Like how gorgeous will that look? With like black tie up strappy heels, Hair up in like a big messy bun, gold, big gold hoops, gorge. And then this is like a beach cover up dress thingy, like ruched up the sides. It's like obviously mesh sheer. Amazing. I'm really hoping that I can make those work because they're stunning and the quality feels amazing. So yeah, that was Casila Studio on Instagram, K-A-S-E-L-A. Thank you so much for sending those to me. Um, can't wait, thank you. So yeah, that's kind of like the clothing bits that I've got going on. <sighs> Gonna try and like style it up with obviously all my existing pieces. Um, I'll make it work, do you know what I mean? Then I went to Superdrug. <laughs> oh my God, Kiss had some really amazing lashes in it. Though. Oh, actually, obviously I got this but it doesn't work, so that is so good. Why isn't it working? Not me buying myself a fan that literally doesn't work. It's it, the batteries. Are these like not actually batteries that work? This better work, hang on. It just needed some batteries. Portable fan for Dubai, obviously I saw that at the checkout and I was like, ah, I need it. Um, guys, I just said, I'm like trying out a new fake tan, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I bought another fake tan. <laughs> I've got issues. But it's because it's an express mousse and I thought that's good to take actually with you while you're away because uh, for a light tan, you need just two hours. Um, Oh no, one hour light, two hour medium, three hours dark, four hours intense. So like, you could just have this on like while you're getting ready and then just have like a body shower afterwards. Like, do you know what I mean? Um, and it's from Sienna X, so it's slightly more expensive. So I thought this better be fucking good. Um, it's vegan and it's a mousse. And I think a mousse is like a little bit more comfortable anyway. So I got that to kind of take abroad with me. Obviously got my minis, deodorant, toothpaste, mouthwash. Um, some heat protectant, dark root spray, duh, because, you know, God for, well, actually, luckily, I got my roots done, um, but you can never have enough of that, and I feel like that would be the worst case scenario, and we've all got dark brown hair, so I bring this for, like, all of us, um, and then Kiss had some really gorgeous lashes. I haven't actually got my lashes done for this trip. Usually, I would, and I literally did not that long ago. My lash tech, if you're watching, Sarah, you're gonna kill me. Um, when I got them done, it was all fine. And then one night I was quite drunk, always the way, I was like taking, try, trying to be really careful taking off my eye makeup. You guys are gonna be like, ow, like you'll feel this through the screen. Like I was taking off my eye makeup and my wipe got like, like the, just the fibers of the wipe. This is what I get for using wipes, like got caught in my lashes and because I was a bit drunk, like I just kept going with it. 
rip my eyelashes out like my actual eyelashes out so I've been really revitalizing them this whole time and it means obviously like I haven't really got like lashes to like get extensions on if you know what I mean so I'm having to be naked so I thought I want to pick up some really like natural looking lashes to wear during the day and stuff and look at these ones from kiss they've got this new well i don't know if it's new oh yeah it is it says new my lash but better like how gorge are those um and then they're so wispies i got three and four they kind of just look like lash extension effects um i'm literally about to sit down and film like a full face of new makeup um so i'm gonna maybe try out some like a pair of these lashes now um, and then, you know, get them a little bit used to my eye before we go. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got from Superdrug. So, the final part. Let me show you, finally, what I got from Cult Beauty. Like, my little bougie bits of skincare to take. Um, treat myself to some Orbe shampoo and conditioner. Like, travel size. Uh, looks pretty gorge. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, yeah. This is just me being... Beige. Um, I got this lip gloss from Patrick Tarr. It's just meant to be like a lip plumping gloss. And it's one of those colours that I feel like it's just, it can go on top of anything. It's just gonna give that added like juice. And a gloss like this, it's kind of like all I wear on if I'm just like having a no makeup day, like especially on holiday, that's an SPF, brows, a lash, done. Maybe a bit of cream blush, but done. Um, I got this. It's the Living Proof Dry Volume Texture Spray. Love this stuff. So I got the travel size one. Um, oh yeah, I got like a little mini uh, glow recipe cleanser. How cute is that? And I got the mini glow recipe toner. Uh, because I love this stuff, and but the bottle is just, it's like made of glass and it's big. So like, I'm so glad that they do a little travel size version. Ooh. Minis are just my fave. Now, I feel like they've sent me the wrong thing here. Let me just double, double check. Like, I ordered the Swede Lashes, but it says like, by Terry. But... They sent like these ones, so the, the packaging itself even looks different. But I'm assuming it's the same lash. Anyway, they're just like half lashes, and I know I just got some lashes from Superdrug, but these, like, I've been quite into like half lashes, and I just thought these, like, in terms of like taking with me, just look really cute, really just like simple and minimal. Um, so yeah, I got them as well. They were kind of unnecessary because I just went to freaking watch them a jig and got some other ones and um, this really tempted me this is new from tan lux it's not travel size anything but oh look at this packaging it's in one of those like tubes like this but it's the advanced hydration self tan facial cream now i feel like a tanned face makes everything on holiday so i'm very excited to try this Picked that up. This was a freebie. The Espa Cleansing Hand Spray. Oh, that smells like a spa. I really love Espa stuff. So, yeah, just a cleansing hand spray. Does it disinfect your hands? Spray onto dry hands and rub all over the fingers, palms, and backs of hands. Okay, so it doesn't do any sort of, like, antibacterial anything. But, smells good. Um... And then finally, I just got this moisturizer, I think. Uh, deep hydration serum from Summer Fridays in this little container. So yeah, that is everything that I got from Cult Beauty, I think. That is everything that I got from Cult Beauty. And that's pretty much everything that I've got for this little trip. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I feel like there's not a lot much else to include except like, packing kind of stuff but i feel like that's kind of boring and i might actually put that on my instagram like because it's friday today i'm not packing today and i need to get this video sent over and like up and ready for you guys so yeah i really hope you 
liked this video, are inspired by maybe some of the bits that I got, please do let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to vlog the trip to Dubai or like really even like post about it. Well, I feel like we're only sort of going because this is the only sort of time that we can go. We're all just so busy and just because of like a few other things, we just not like really need this trip because no one needs a trip, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, so we're just going now. Obviously want to be very sensitive not everyone wants to see holidays all of the time. Although I feel like a lot of people are away at the moment. Is it like spring, like, uh, maybe it's just like a spring, like holiday vibes type thing. Um, so yeah, please let me know. I'm not gonna be offended. I hope I've not offended anyone um, by anything that I've said uh, in this video. Um, just let me know uh, and I'll be reading the comments and making sure I do my content accordingly. So yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any questions about anything that I've got or, you know, uh, just shoot them down below. I'll do my best to reply. Oh, make sure you make the most of that HelloFresh discount. I'm still thinking about those tacos. And maybe I'll have the other meal tonight. The prawn risotto. Ooh, it's good, it's tempting me. Um, so yeah, the code is HelloRachel. And it's gonna give you 50% off your first box and 35% off the next three so i'll leave obviously the link to that down below uh so make sure you check that out i love you guys i feel like by the time this goes up i'll probably be in dubai so sending you guys so much love and speak soon bye guys <laughs>